Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today I'm testing to see which carpet shampoo does the best with heavily stained carpets. These mid-level carpet cleaners have become really popular, and of course each manufacturer wants you to use their brand of shampoo in the machine, but we wanted to see if there was much of a difference in the cleaning power between the popular brands of shampoo. For the carpet cleaner itself, I used the Bissell ProHeat 2X Revolution Pet Pro, which won our carpet cleaning machine competition last year, and which is a really versatile machine. For the stains, I used Georgia Reg Clay, which I mixed with water and painted evenly on our medium pile carpet. I've seen consumer reports use Georgia Reg Clay too, though they do apply it a little differently than I did. I also used Grape Juice, which was painted on in the same basic way, as well as V8 Juice. I chose V8 because in our hard floor cleaner test, the V8 is always the toughest stain for those types of machines to get, presumably because it sticks to the surface more. And finally, more for identification, I wrote the brand name of the carpet shampoo shampoo with a sharpie. I left the stains to dry for 24 hours and took off the tape. Now the different brands of carpet shampoo often claim to have different concentrations like two times, three times, up to four times concentrate. So I was very careful to use the exact amount they said to use per gallon of water which ended up being an easy thing to do since the tank on the Bissell Pro Heat is exactly one gallon. One other really important point that will come up later and necessitate a second winner-take-all battle is that the recommended amounts actually varied from 1.6 ounces per gallon on the Resolve up to 4 ounces per gallon with the Rug Doctor, with many of their instructions saying that you should double or triple that recommended per gallon amount for tough stains. But this first test is all about the recommended amount for 1 gallon in normal conditions. So, links in the description and let's get started. So I did two back and forth passes with the solution spraying and two back and forth passes without the spray to suck up the water. In other words, eight single passes, four with water and four without. And I would say that they all did admirably, but the winner for this round was the Rug Doctor Oxy, followed by the Bissell and maybe the Resolve in third, but it was close. But the problem here is that the Rug Doctor was also the only one that claimed that the minimum amount to use was four ounces, which was quite a bit more than the others said to use use. So in order to find out how much the amount of shampoo played a role in its victory, I had a sudden death round with the three finalists. This time I increased the amount of shampoo to 5 ounces for all the contestants, which actually is the recommended amount for tough stains with the Bissell and Resolve. The Rug Doctor only had one recommended amount, which is 4 ounces, but I figured they were just kind of splitting the difference to make it easy for people to decide which amount to use. So with an equal 5 ounces to 1 gallon mix, all three did much better. But I would have to say that the Bissell Pro Advanced was the best carpet shampoo in this sudden death round, better than the other two finalists by just a little bit when all things were more or less equal. I have to say I've always suspected that Bissell shampoo was the reason I keep picking Bissell carpet cleaners as the best in their category. For example, my four favorite carpet cleaners in each price range, which I will link below, are all Bissells. Though to be fair, stain cleaning ability is not the only thing I look for when reviewing carpet cleaners, but knowing what we found out today will help me be a lot more careful in the future to make sure everything is equal when testing carpet cleaners. And in case you're wondering, I have absolutely no affiliation with Bissell. These are just my honest opinions, and these tests are not intended to be super scientific or anything, just an honest attempt to find the best one. Be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars, and thanks for watching.